All right, John, we're just a couple of days away from UFC 154. Fight week is uh, stressful for some, relaxing for others. How do you kind of uh, mentally just go into fight week where there's all the media obligations, making weight, and just kind of uh, stay calm heading into a big fight such as uh, the one with Sam Stout on Saturday? Uh, I just try to stay focused on the process and uh, just uh, focus on twenty feet at a time. And uh, you know, I, uh, obviously, you know, nervous nerves and all that stuff is always normal, but uh, that just keeps me sharp, and uh, I just can't wait to fight. Now, if history is any indicator, John, you've kind of, uh, you know, you've fought twice before on cards involving George St. Pierre, winning those ones. Conversely, you've fought on uh, two cards headlined by John Jones. So if that is any pattern here, this is a good sign for you with George St. Pierre headlining on Saturday night for John McDessie. Yeah, well, it's always an honor to, to fight uh, in, in, in a big crowd, you know, and especially in uh, George St. Pierre. Uh, he's one of my training partners and a great, great athlete. And uh, I'm very excited to, you know, to go out there and fight, uh, especially in Montreal. From what you have seen and working with him, how has George uh, responded? Because uh, Firhaz Sahabi has said that George is looking more dangerous than ever before. You've got to see it firsthand. And what, what have you seen? Yeah, of course, George uh, he's a great athlete, like I said, and uh, he's, 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 he's very strong, very explosive fighter. And uh, he, he's, he's been doing what he got to do to, uh, to uh, you know, to win the fight. And, uh, and I can't really say much. You guys are going to have to find out November 17th. You uh, are going to be taking on Sam Stout that night. Tell us where Sam Stout is most dangerous. What have you focused in on in your training camp preparing for this guy who's a very tough 155er as is yourself? Yeah, well, I mean, every every opponent, I always train very hard, you know, and uh, this time around, it, my training camp was just to really train smart and to really mix uh, my game all around and, uh, and just, uh, you know, go out there and fight my fight. Any specific changes you made uh, coming out of the Anthony and Kawani fight in terms of uh, preparing for Stout that, uh, you, you know, you've tinkered around with, with your preparation? Oh, I changed 100 uh, percent. I changed my whole training, uh, you know, but, I, like, you know, the thing is uh, fighting is, is it's a journey, you know, and, and you, it's a process. So uh, my last couple of fights, I learned a lot. It made me a bigger, made me a stronger, more mature fighter. And you learn from your losses. Uh, everything you have to take as an athlete take as a positive and just keep going forward and uh, getting up, train hard and fight again. How much have you taken from working with Firas Sahabi? Because those that work with him just say that he is just able to tap into something w with fighters and bring out the absolute best in them. What what has it been specifically with Firas that has helped your career? Yeah, well, Firas, obviously, he's a he's a very smart man when it comes to MMA. He knows, you know, the, the, the most important thing is, uh, I guess, sparring partners. You know, he tries to m match me up. The guys who are going to try to try to at least mimic Sam Stout, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, uh, Farah Zahabi, you know, he's doing a great job, you know, don't forget, there's a lot of fighters at TriStar, you know, so has a lot of responsibilities, so a man, uh, he, he has a lot of, he has a lot on his shoulders, and uh, for that, I uh, respect him for that, and, you know, he, he does what he has to do to try to make every fighter, uh, you know, try to cover as, as everything as possible. I know that uh, TriStar, they're going to be promoting their own fights at the end of the month. Mm -hmm. Who are some guys right now that you're working with that maybe the audience out there has not heard of yet that are people to kind of take notice of as kind of that, that next evolution of fighters that could be making a splash? Any one or two guys that maybe jump uh, out? I mean, of course, his own brother, Eamon Zabi, is, you know, he's been fighting, uh, training longer than I have been in MMA, and uh, he's a great prospect. You also got have guys like Alex, uh, you know, o Olivier. There's, there's a number of guys, you know what I mean? There's, there's, there's so many guys at TriStar. It's like you, you forget their names because there's, there's a bunch of guys, you know, but a lot of great guys who uh, uh, are uh, prospects in, uh, in the smaller promotions. Uh, heading into uh, Friday and the weigh-ins, do you expect a relatively easy cut this week uh, leading into Friday? I know you had the trouble with the Enja Kawani fight, but I know you, you've made a lot of changes uh, after yeah. that one. Yeah, you know, you listen to I listen to the wrong people to help me. Listen, weight cutting for me it was I'm, I'm a fighter. I, I train to fight. I don't know. How, I, I don't train to cut weight. And unfortunately, uh, I, I, always, I always all my weight cuts have been very hard for me, and I, I didn't really understood the science behind it. I'm very fortunate to work with a great team now, especially Freedom Fighter FTM. The FTF team is behind me, and uh, I have a great support, great family. Uh, you know, what I mean, like I got my team, I got my great coaches. That uh, this time around, uh, you know, I'm well trained and well prepared for for anything. A lot of people are expecting fireworks from yourself and Sam on Saturday night. Uh, do you take that into into effect when you walk into the cage, or is it just I am here for the victory here? Should it be a great fight? That's great, but you can't really tailor your style to what the fans want. You have to ensure that figure. What's your mindset when it comes to you know providing an entertaining fight? Because on paper, this looks like this could steal the show. Uh, you know, for me, it's like you know, it's a bonus. You know, when when it's an exciting fight, you know, and uh, when there's 
you know, it's when I know the crowd wants an exciting fight, and I'm always, I try my hardest to, to give the crowd what they want. You know, I'm an entertainer. Of course, being victorious is always the, the, the 100% what I'm looking for. But also, you know, I'm, all, I'm also go going out there to execute my game plan and to, uh, you know, to, to, you know, but my style is already exciting, so I'm not worried about that. You know what I mean? I know that I know that I have one of the best styles in fighting, and, and at the end of the day, it takes two to dance. And if Sam style is there to dance with me, I, I believe that it's going to be a good fight. Well, I think both of you have the styles to make a hell of a fight on Saturday night. Wish you the best. I think this is going to be a real fun one on Saturday. Thank you, guys.